Hi everyone, welcome to the class. In this session, we are going to discuss about the role of other organs in excretion. In the sessions, we kidney and its functions in the kidney and its functions. We will nitrogenous waste materials in kidney release out of the kidney. And here, we have to discuss about lungs, liver, skin, intestine and salivary glands and their role in excretion. The first thing we are going to discuss is about lungs. See this, in a normal resting state, the lungs remove about 200 ml of carbon dioxide per minute. One minute, 200 ml of carbon dioxide are lungs remove. And it is one of the non-nitrogenous waste materials. It also removes about 400 ml of water per day in the form of vapor. Water loss through the lungs depends on climatic conditions. Climatic conditions and depend on water loss in the intensity determine. Okay, in hot conditions, we know that so that the water is getting lost from the body much. So, in the form of this vapor, also this water is eliminated, isn't it? So, in the form of urine and also in the form of this water vapor. Okay, so the lungs which is helping removing carbon dioxide and also water. And what is the role of liver in excretion? See this, the liver excretes cholesterol, bile pigments, certain products of steroid hormones, vitamins and drugs. Liver detoxifying center in the namak area so that all the excess things like this can be eliminated out from the liver. So, liver is an excretory function handle Okay. Then these are carried by bile into the intestine and eliminated with the feces. So, bile in the kude the intestine lake release jay pedigam, intestine in the fecal matter in the kude, belly lake release the po game no. So, that is a function of liver. And the next, the function of skin in Excretion. Skin are under different types of glands that is sweat glands and sebaceous glands. Sweat gland in the produce we know that sweat glands produce sweat and through the sweat water, sodium chloride and traces of lactic acid, amino acids, urea and glucose are excreted. So, salts eliminate the sweat in the good. See, major part of all these things are eliminated through the urine, but trace amounts only eliminated through the sweat glands along with the sweats. Then sebaceous glands. They produce sebum, which helps to eliminate waxes, sterols, fatty acid, and certain hydrocarbons. This sebaceous gland excreted. Okay, then what's next? Here we have intestine. It is also taking a role in excretion. Okay, then salivary glands also coming along with that. The first thing, large intestine. Epithelial cells of large intestine excrete certain salts such as iron, calcium and phosphate. These are eliminated with the fecal matter. Intestinal cells eliminated fecal matter body through the process of defecation. And what about salivary glands? Salivary glands helps to eliminate substances like mercury, potassium iodide, lead and thiocyanate. Okay, so all these salts and ions are released by this salivary glands. Now salivary glands release it it enters into alimentary canal and the same way it is removed through the fecal matter. So, all these things we have to discuss here. These are other certain organs helping in the process of uh, excretion. So, other than the kidney, the waste materials are removed uh, through this organs also. Hope you understand the topic. Thank you.